This is question number 10. We're told figure 2 shows part of a curve C with equation y is equal to 9 minus 2x minus 2 over root x where x is greater than 0. The point A, 1 comma 5 lies on C and the curve crosses the x-axis at B which is B comma 0 where B is a constant and B is greater than 0. In part A for one mark we need to verify that B is equal to 4. A couple of different approaches. I'm simply going to write now the f of 4 will give us now the y coordinate of 0 for this particular equation. So what we can say then now is f of 4, evaluating 4, we're going to have 9 minus 2 lots of 4, which is 8, minus 2 over the square root now of 4, which is going to give us 2. So that's going to give us 9 minus 9, which is going to be equal to 0. So we can verify that that point is on there. That's one way that you could do it. We're now told the tangent to C at the point A, which is just here, cuts the x-axis at the point D, as shown in figure 2. In part B, we need to show that an equation of the tangent to C, uh, to C at A is y plus x is equal to 6. The question carries four marks. The equation of a tangent is a straight line. All we need for a straight line are two things. We need a point that it goes through, which we're given just here, and we need a gradient. So if we need a gradient, we need the gradient function. So all I'm going to do is differentiate y with respect to x. So y is equal to 9 minus 2x. Rewriting the power, we're going to have 2x to the minus 1 half. So this now is our equation. The gradient function dy by dx. If I differentiate 9, I'm going to get 0. If I differentiate negative 2x, I'm just going to have negative 2. If I differentiate now negative 2x to the minus or negative 1 half, multiply down by the power, drop the power by 1, this is going to give me plus x to the power of negative 3 over 2. So negative 3 over 2. So we can write, if we like, dy by dx is equal to now negative 2 plus 1 over x to the power of 3 over 2. So this is the gradient function. We've got a point, so we can say now at a, so at a, dy by dx, the gradient is going to be equal to negative 2 plus 1 over 1 to the power of 3 over 2, which is just going to give us 1, which is now gives us a value of negative 1. So we've got a, so our point a is going to be 1 comma 5, and we've got a gradient now of negative 1. We simply need to sub this into the equation of a straight line, y minus y1 is equal to m, x minus x1, or if you like, y is equal to mx plus c. y minus 5 is equal to negative 1 multiplied by x minus 1. y minus 5 is equal to negative x plus 1. Adding x to both sides, we've got y plus x. And then adding now the 5 to both sides, that gives us 6 as required. OK, so that's done for that part. In part C, we need to find the coordinates of a point D. Well, point D is where the, the line that we've just found crosses the x-axis. So what we can say then at D, so we can say at D, y is going to be equal to 0. So at D rather than A, at D, y is equal to 0. Therefore, we're going to have x is equal to 6. Just sub it in here. So we can say that D has the coordinates 6, 0. And that's our one mark. We're now told the shaded region R, shown in figure 2, is bounded by C, the line AD, and the x-axis. For six marks in part D, we're asked to use integration to find the area of R. So let's have a look at R. OK, we've got a couple of different choices here. What I'm going to look at now are some lines. So if we go ahead and put a line just here, what we've got here now is a straight line down. We also have now a triangle forming just here. So if I just think about this now, if I think about this triangle, this is one way of doing it, what we could do is find the area of a triangle and subtract away now the area trapped under the curve from x is equal to 1 to now x is equal to 4. Just consider this point right here, we've got 1 comma 0 and we've got 4 comma 0. So if I wanted, I could find the area of the triangle. And if we just look at that now, let's go ahead and do that. So if I just get up the triangle, remember this doesn't have to be immaculate. What we've got here now is a height. The height is going to be 5. 
This length right here, we've just found D to be 6, 0. This is going to be 5. So the area of this tri uh, triangle is going to be 5 times by 5 divided by 2, which is going to give us 12.5. From that, if I subtract away, so if I do this, I'm going to minus the integral from 1 to 4 of this function. Uh, let's just write this down. 9 minus 2x minus 2x to the minus half with respect to x. Then I can find the area of R. So let's go ahead and do that. What I'm going to do, and if you want, let's just call this, let's say that this is going to be called area 1. So if we just call this now area 1 just here. Area 1 writing this down, area 1 is going to be equal to the integral from, and we've got our point just here, that's going to be 1 to 4, so we've got 1 to 4, and just jotting the limits down, we've got now 9 minus 2x minus 2x to the power of minus 1 half, or negative 1 half, and we're integrating with respect to x. So let's go ahead and do that, so what we'll have, area 1, we're going to have now, if I integrate this, I'm going to get 9x, if I integrate this, I'm going to get now minus x squared. I'm going to raise by a power and divide by the new power. So if I do that, I'm going to get now minus 2x to the positive 1 half divided by positive 1 half. And we're interested in this now from 1 to 4. So let's just go ahead and write this out, make it slightly easier. So what we've got then is the following. We've got 9x minus x squared minus 4, and then I'm just going to write this as the root of x. Okay, so that's from 1 to 4. So substituting these in, what we're going to have from here is 9 times by 4, which is 36, minus 4 squared, which is 16, then the root of 4 is 2, that's going to give us minus 8. We will subtract from that, evaluating 1, 9 minus 1 minus 4. So what do we have here? This is going to give me on here a total of 12, so that's going to be 12. Then we're going to have on here now minus, uh, what do we end up with? 9, so that's going to give me 4. Uh, 9, uh, 9 minus 1 minus, that gives me 4, doesn't it? So that is going to give me 8. So that is the area trapped under the curve. So this one is 8. So therefore, what we're going to have then is a 12 and a half. So we can say, therefore, now 12.5, which is the area of a triangle, minus the 8 is going to give us 4.5 and that will be square units or units squared so that's one way of doing it um, that's probably the the quickest way to go about it all we've done is looked now at the triangle and we've simply now taken away the integral from 1 to 4 of now the curve so we've just subtracted away the area trapped under the curve between x equals 1 and x is equal to 4